Welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at the Tesla Model 3 Performance. And as somebody keeps saying to me, give me the price, give me the stats at the start of the video. Zero to 103.1 seconds. In Ireland here, around about 60,000 euros, depending on whether it's PCP, cash or higher purchase. And it's still a decent range and still a really good boot. We're gonna have a look around the outside, the inside, and then take it out for a drive. But yeah, this is gonna be good. I think this new red is stunning in the Tesla Model 3. Uh, at the front, there are some subtle differences, not a lot though. There's a different front bumper at the bottom here, and we also have a new splitter, but otherwise still practical, and it is still has that new uh, Model 3 headlight. There is a frunk, we'll open it up, and that's all still controlled from inside or via the app. And even though this is still a all-wheel drive version, it's, it's the practicality of it. It's unbelievable. Let's have a look along the side. Down along the side. The only way you're going to know this is the performance version is with these 20-inch, um, with the inserts, the wheels. On the rear, it's 275 3020s, and on the front, it's 235 3520s. So a wider track on the rear. It's got a beefier motor in the back as well, given over that 400 horsepower but otherwise you wouldn't really know the difference. Like the more recent Model 3s, there's no chrome, it's all black or matte black. Let's have a look at the rear. Down at the rear of the Tesla Model 3 Performance, you do have a couple of identifiers. You've got that carbon fiber spoiler um, lip just, and there's a lovely kink to the end of it. There's those, those new tail lights. You've got the, obviously with the new Tesla Model 3 Highland, you've got the Tesla written out, but then you have what looks like the old Plaid logo, but this is Tesla's new performance logo. So you see this, you know this will do zero to 103.1 seconds. Also, you've got a rear diffuser, but still the practicality of nearly 600 liters in the boot and that front up. So if you need something to get the family around, but you want a bit of poke, is the Tesla Model 3 performance for you? Inside the Tesla Model 3, it's the same minimalist Model 3 that we all either love or hate, but the main difference really is the seats, sport seats, with that performance logo just underneath the headrest, all one piece with this white, real figure hugging, heated and cooled as well. We also have on top of the dash a carbon fiber lip, or sometimes that's either a solid color or wood effect, but otherwise everything is pretty much the same inside here. Um, some people like it, some people don't like it, but we quickly run through the menu here as well because it's important just because there's track mode now and there's a lot of settings in there that if you're interested in really taking the performance to the next level, this is the one to go for. The Tesla screen, you can see you can have navigation shortcut up here, so click that. It'll bring it forward. I'm on Dunleary Pier. Um, and then the car itself, you can change the color of it. If you get it wrapped, but it'll open the bonnet, open the boot, open the flap uh, for charging. You've got your shortcut to the navigation. You've got your um, media. SOS download is available, lock or unlock. And then you've got your widgets down at the bottom here. So uh, shortcut to the air conditioning so you can see heated and cooled uh, in the actual front seats as well which is a great addition to it you've got dog mode camp mode and if you haven't seen my recent tesla model y camping video um, and then you kind of see what the all the different apps are so shortcuts to some aircon stuff at the top here uh, rear screen settings navigation camera etc etc so they're all the shortcuts and these are frequently used down along the bottom You've got your air con, but we've, let's talk at the control. So this is the new control. Well, as of middle of July, 2024, uh, whenever the next update comes out, this might be changed. Changing the steering wheel, sentry mode, car wash, dynamics, chill, standard or insane, ride handling. So this is the new adaptive dampeners. Uh, sometimes people felt that the Tesla Model 3 was a bit harsh, but now with the adaptive dampeners, you can control how soft or hard that ride is depending on how you want it. Uh, steering wheel weight, then there's track mode. And so with track mode, you can customize it. So let's tap the key card, and it is a card key. Um, this is it here. You have to tap it down here, or you can use your, and so you can have um, handling balance. You can have it under steer or over steer, depending on where you want the power to go to. Stability assist, off minimum or reduced, 
regen braking. I was looking for the one pedal driving, but it's inside the track mode setting and you can have it at zero or all the way up to 100%. And it gives you an understanding there as to setting it to 100% recommended. Uh, post drive cooling, save dash cam of laps, um, race presets, drift presets. So fair play to the people that actually buy this and use it as it's intended rather than just overtaking somebody on the M50 which I'm going to be doing in a little bit. Uh, charging, same as always, autopilot, the locks, the lights, the display, the trip meter. And so uh, watt hours per kilometers, you can see 185, so 18.5. Uh, trip A, 600 kilometers, 21 watt hours per uh, kilometer. So 21 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. Um, and so that wasn't me. These ones, this one is more me up here. I haven't been driving it too crazy. Navigation, safety, service, software, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So that is the screen on the Tesla Model 3. Steering wheel, we did have a whole video on it where we looked at the indicators because they're built into the screen. You can see them here, left and right. You can uh, headlight flashing. And then on the other side then is your wiper, your voice assistant, your speed control and your sentry. That's that new Tesla um, tri-spoke, potentially tri-spoke. Yeah, you call that one uh, slightly different down here. But the in the rear of the Tesla Model 3, that seat is set for me. I'm 188 centimeters, six foot two. Feet can just about get in underneath. Knees have a bit of space, but it is totally solid. Uh, it'd be nice if there was a bit of cutout in it, but I think with all the air cooling, etc., in it, it may not be possible. And like the new Model 3, you've got the new central screen, so that will control ventilation. It also has entertainment like Netflix and YouTube, etc. And you can also play games in it. So anybody sitting in the back here will have lots of options. Two USB Type A's. Then we also have that armrest, but it's interesting. You've got the double cup holders and the seats can also fold back. You can raise them or uh, lower them with that manual clasp at the top here. On the actual door itself, you've got that ambient light that runs across all the way of the car now. And you can have that on permanently or just on at nighttime or when it is, uh, when it's actual, the car stops. That's as low down as the window goes. It doesn't go any lower than that. Little co coat hook. Yeah, two isofix in the back here. And you've got that central beam um, rollover bar. Evo Electric Vehicle Show is back in partnership with Bank of Ireland. The show's second instalment will take place in the RDS Simmons Court on the 10th of November 2024. Building on the sold-out success of the previous show, this will be Ireland's largest ever motor show. Experience all things e-mobility with over 30 manufacturer brands displaying over 80 electric vehicles. The latest in charging and energy solutions, engaging discussions with industry experts, exhilarating test drive experiences and captivating live vehicle demonstrations. Visit nevo.ie today to learn more and register for your free ticket. What's it like driving the Tesla Model 3 performance around town? Yes, it is a bit firm and it's still a bit firm, even with the adaptive dampeners. But yeah, it's, it's a, with these new comfortable seats, the Model 3 is a decent ride and practical too, if it suits you. If you don't need a huge opening in the boot. Um, one thing that one or two people commented on that I took for a drive this weekend was Model 3 is starting to feel a bit low. And that's the curse of the SUV and people wanting to be able to sit and swivel into their actual seats. So um, the Model Y is there to, to, to fit those needs if you're looking for more space in the boot, if you're looking for a higher seating position. Once you get into the Model 3 performance, you're cocooned by the seat and the fact that you can change everything dynamically with regards to the settings. So you can change your accelerations currently in chill. I can go to insane and straight away you can feel that kick, that all wheel drive, that over 700 newton meters of torque, 460 uh, horsepower. Now that depends on the level of the battery and also the battery installed, so it has to be confirmed but then a WLTP of over 500 kilometers if you don't drive it like you stole it. But overall, it's good. The steering wheel buttons, you get used to it after a while. I haven't had it for too many days, so I'm still getting used to it. But I've done another video on that where we talk about how's it, what's it like to get used to, what's it like in roundabouts or rotaries, as you may call it in North America. Yeah, it's nice. 
uh, sticking it into the sport side of things and straight away you can feel it getting a bit even tougher and firmer on the actual uh, steering wheel weight. Let's put that into heavy and you can customize all this as well in track mode. If you want the understeer, the oversteer, stability assist, etc, etc. So the customization is there. Uh, don't have it on track today and I know some people did bring it on track and tore the tires off it in other videos but I'm thinking about more what would it be like in day-to-day -day life so what I'm going to do is bring it up to uh, the M50 southbound M7 here in Dublin it's 120 kilometers uh, and see what that speed feels like and see hear what the noise feels like um, but yeah stay tuned we'll bring it out on a bit of motorway but otherwise seats are comfortable acceleration is top-notch brakes are good visibility is decent uh, out the rear yeah that middle headrest is a bit lower and you've got the new blind spot little led light that's in just at the bottom of the a pillar and also on the uh, when you indicate the little pop-up window blind spot camera and that little uh, flash red uh, on the side that it feels that you're getting a bit close to uh, a car that's in your blind spot so all of these incremental additions as we sit here at the lights just before we turn on to the m7 the competition for the Tesla Model 3 performance, you're probably looking at BYD Seal all-wheel drive with that 3.8 seconds. And so that's pretty more like for like. And then the next spend level up, you're looking at the Kia EV6 GT and the Ionic 5N. All of those videos are on my channel if you're interested. But I recently did a video on the Model Y performance asking the question, do you really need it? And I was surprised with the amount of comments that came back and said, yeah, I do. I want that extra performance on top of an electric vehicle, instantaneous torque uh, and po power already. So it's interesting to see the sales of the Model 3 performance. We don't get that breakdown. Uh, we just get Model 3 sales. Ionic 5N, EV6 GT, they really are handful cars. I think we're going to see a lot more of these uh, Tesla Model 3 performance on the roads. And we're already seeing a lot of the BYD seal all-wheel drive, dual motor, 3.8 seconds on the road as well. Good to have the choice, good to have the variety. It's not going to be for everybody. A lot of people don't need the speed. A lot of people don't want to pay the extra for it. A lot of people are looking for range rather than performance. Let's see what this is like in the motorway. Did I say M7? I meant M11. And so coming on to the M11 motorway. Starting off, it's 100 kilometers an hour, so we're going to keep it nice and steady. We're at 66 kilometers an hour there. We're at 97 kilometers an hour there. My goodness, it is just welded to the road. And those wider rear tires really starts to make a difference. It's a beefier motor than the regular Tesla in the rear of this uh, Model 3 long range all wheel drive. And so just bringing it up to before we get around this corner. And then we're gonna go on to the 120. So we're at 100 kilometers an hour now. And then it's, it's effortless, effortless to get that speed up. Super quiet. They really have worked on that new with the Model 3 Highlands, the new edition, the sound quality, the acoustics. Beautiful. absolutely beautiful yeah and the power is there if you want to if you need to overtake something unbelievable hopefully you've enjoyed my review of the tesla model 3 performance if you haven't already subscribed to the channel please do so hit the like button leave a comment and let me know what you think and remember if you think an ev is for you leave it to me and i'll review thank you very much for watching and if you enjoyed this video YouTube's going to recommend a video it thinks you're going to like. I hope you do.